In this video, we'll be going over the top three moons in which you can find tons of hadonite. This mineral can be easily identified by its pink or purple color lines when scanning around the surface of the moon, and it's one of the best out of the three rock mineable gems that can be found across almost all the moons in Star Citizen, with the other two being Aphrodite and Dolvine. So whether you're looking for a chill moon to mine in and still make good profits, or you just want the best spots to go to, this video is for you. But before we get into this, these videos do take a while to make since I like to test things out myself and then make videos based on my findings to help you guys so I would really appreciate if you drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Star Citizen content like this. This really does help the channel especially with our next milestone of hitting 4k subs right around the corner and as I mentioned when we hit our last one every time we hit a milestone in the channel we will be giving away a couple of ships as a thank you for the support. Alright enough of that let's get into it. So coming in at number three, Magda. This moon is stunning. The views are amazing. Not a lot of pirates out here, so you can just chill and mine to your heart's content. Visibility is pretty good, and the terrain over OM1 is really, really good. They didn't have any issues landing or navigating the surface with the Great Cat Rock. Found seven patches of minerals within one hour. Out of those seven, four of them were Hadonite, so a really decent rate. If you're just looking to chill but still make profits while at it, this moon is for you. Coming in at number two, Daymar. This moon is a big old desert full of hadonite, dangerous at times but a really good place to mine. I say dangerous because oftentimes you will find pirates just waiting for you at the mining facility when you are ready to sell everything that you've mined. Plus it's a moon that has many other activities going on so it's really a hot spot for other players. Visibility is good but the terrain can be a bit rough at times, even around OM1. I found six patches of minerals within in one hour and out of those six four of them were had a night so a really really good rate better than magda i would say if you don't mind the danger of possibly getting shot down by pirates on your way back to sell your newly found minerals this moon is for you and finally coming in at number one Aberdeen. If you thought Daymar looked like a desert, Aberdeen is even worse with tons of storms and extremely hot weather. But nothing that our good old Pembroke exploration suit can't fix, although with the current patches, you can pretty much survive without it. Visibility is rough when approaching the moon, but it gets better once you're close to the surface and the terrain can be extremely rough to land on at times. But with all of that being said, it is one of the best moons to mine Hadonite in all Star Citizen, so it completely makes up for it. In one of my Hadonite runs, I found 10 really good patches of minerals. Out of those 10, all 10 of them were Hadonite. Yeah, you heard me. All of them. So if you don't mind the storms and on top of that, the heat of this moon, this is the best place to go to, hands down. But I would really love to hear your thoughts on this. Do you agree with this ranking? If not, which moons are your top three? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, we will be doing a rock mining guide next and then we'll start getting into some prospector mining which I'm super excited about so make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel and hit that noti bell so that you do not miss out whenever this next videos come out thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time Zer Hayes out